Hi, my name is Noreen Smiley, and I was one of the mentors at the Pugwash District High School. Pugwash District High School has a history of active engagement with the arts. The school hosts the Jean Wallace Art Gallery with over 72 works of art from all over the region, including students' work. And through the years, students have been involved with collaborative community projects. A good example of this is the Peace Ground and Eaton Park that the school uh, worked with Communities in Bloom here in Pugwash. And that's an installment uh, celebrating Pugwash's history in the anti-nuclear peace movement. For the Pugwash Open Air Gallery, the process was we introduced the students to the installations that are already up in the village. And then in communication with art teacher Virginia King Tower, we invited uh, her grade 10 to 12 visual arts students to submit proposals for a public art installation with the theme of community and belonging at this time in the world. A jury made up of local artists, educators, and students then selected three proposals of the eight that were submitted. Over the next two months, the student teams refined their concepts, made decisions about art forms and mediums, and got to work creating with the support of three local artist mentors. When the work was done, a second jury determined the final art piece that best represented the school. And that ended up being an acrylic painting by Irene Zong and Rachel Trenum. So we hope they enjoyed this process and we're very proud to have student work as part of the Open Air Gallery. My name is Rachel Trenum. I go to Pugwash District High School and I am in grade 10 currently. I am an international student from China. I study in Pugwash District High School. To me, the art kind of represents like a piece of hope during like the pressures of like COVID. And so what I'm hoping is that some people will see that as well. Um, I think art is a way of communicating and sometimes you don't know what to say to other people so um, you have these thoughts that's piled up in your head and um, you, you, sometimes you just want to document it in the form of art. It, it documents my emotions and my thoughts.